I'm here at CES with Acer and my friend Adam Patrick Murray. Hello. And we're here to show you the Acer Concept D7 Easel laptop, which was just announced. And this is for creators like me, and I've had a little bit of experience with the Concept D7 uh, last year, but this has something cool going on that the D7 didn't have, which was essentially just a rebranded gaming laptop, but this is definitely from the actual chassis, is a little bit different, especially for creators. So well, why, don't you, why don't you show what, uh, All what right. it can do? What it can do is you can flip this display. Look at that. So it rotates, you can make it flat like a tablet. So why would you want it like a tablet? Because this has uh, an integrated stylus. And then where's that, where's that hidden? The integrated stylus is hidden right back here. Ta-da! And it's a Wacom EMR stylus. It charges inside its little, its little cave there. And so you can draw and write on this. Um, and especially and if you wanted to put it in kind of like a tablet mode. Even that, but you actually have a lot of options on angles. You can see here, uh, you know, if people want to tip it up, usually if you want to draw, you want it a little bit more angled than it is here. So you could even raise it up a bit and that would be okay, like that. Yeah, almost like if, if I had like a, a second keyboard here with yes. a, you know, because I, I obviously can't get to it the keyboard It will even here. hold, you know, a position like that. It doesn't have to be all the way flat. Just whatever angle is right for you. Plus, of course, if you flip it this way, then suddenly you have tent mode or movie mode. What you don't have to do with a lot of convertibles, it just rotates 360 degrees and sometimes your keyboard ends up on the top of your desk or something. But because of this second hinge on the display, now I have it totally upside down. It's like a Rubik's Cube <laughs> it in is. a laptop. But now that now because of this second hinge on the display, you don't have to do that. And you just have a lot of uh, really great choices for how you want to angle this. And yes, for creators like you, to be able to, you know, just kind of choose what angle you want for your display and write on it if you want, it's all good. Do you want yeah, to try that? Yeah, and, and actually, I, I, don't, I don't do too much uh, with stylus stuff, obviously, because, you know, video production, you don't need it. But, like I said earlier, like, if I'm, if I'm at a trade show and I could have just, just this sitting on a, on a desk and then I, yep. I bring my own laptop and, uh, and mouse, which I usually have anyway, that, that's, that's nice. And especially, the, I mean, this screen, so uh, 4K, UHD, but it's Pantone validated, which... Yes. Like the Concept D7, that screen was beautiful. So the, the colors just pop out. Uh, you actually don't see too much of a, uh, a glare. It's got a nice it has an anti glare, -glare coating. Uh, uh, on it. It's also 100% Adobe sRGB. Yep, yep. And, and, and I, I will say, as a creator, one thing I did like to see on here, which I didn't see on most laptops, Elena, if you can get in here, it has an external display port. You just don't see oh my God. laptops. Uh, yeah, so not, not only do you have HDMI and you've got uh, USB 3 on, on the other side, and you that also looks have like DisplayPort. So yeah, in, in terms of ports, uh, which are very important to me, you've got uh, Ethernet, you've got the, uh, the power, you've got uh, a couple of USBs, uh, and then even on the front, you have a nice SD card. Uh, Gordon says SD card slots aren't important. I say they are. Oh, uh, I, I need my creators. SD card slot. Uh, and then on this side, another uh, USB Type A, uh, two USB C, uh, and then the the audio jack. We also have a nice view here of that second hinge that's on the back of the display. That's a full piano hinge, so super sturdy. This thing is not going to wobble at all. Yeah, I'll, I'll say I I did ask ask the weight, and they said it's about uh, 5.2 pounds. So it's a little heavier than something I usually like to take to a trade show, but having that articulating screen would be pretty awesome. Uh, also, because of the screen, obviously, it adds just a little bit of uh, thickness up yes. here. So it's, it's a little heavier, a little thicker, but from, from what you get from it, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. There are actually also going to be two versions of this Concept D7 easel. There's the regular one, which is going to have up to 10th gen Intel Core H processors. And then there's going to be a pro version that's going to ramp it up. It's going to have Xeon processors and Quadro RTX 5000. Nice. Uh, GPUs. And so. what about pricing and availability? Uh, the regular easels are going to start at twenty six ninety nine and be available, I think, in the spring. And the easel pros are going to start at thirty ninety nine, uh, same time frame. Well, if it's anything like the the D seven, uh, I'm excited to try it out. This is this is kind of a cool form factor. And even though I don't do a ton of touch, uh, having that articulating screen is definitely. Definitely a plus for yeah, me. Yeah, so. I think the power and the versatility are going to be a real winner. Let's see more, uh, more content creator laptops at CES. <laughs> yes. For sure. Excited.